are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. <laughs> It's one of our last interviews, but with the guys we met at first on this event. Yeah. And at the first evening, it was so amazing. And you were so nice to us. I really, really sad to leave this event and leave um, Texas. But for my viewers, please tell who are you and what for a car are you driving? Yeah, so my name is Tyler Connolly. Uh, and right here I have my 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And now in Germany, people think, oh, Trackhawk, yeah, okay, yeah, light and modified. <laughs> okay, shoot some specs. So uh, the Jeep makes, as it sits, we say probably around 1,400. Realistically, it's probably around 1,600 wheel horsepower on nitrous. Um, it's currently the world's quickest and fastest at uh, 889 at 157. And it weighs 53, 5,400 pounds, so it's pretty wild, man. It's really what, and it's a street car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a street car. I drove it around on Friday. I went out and I was driving around for like two and a half hours just cruising. I still have air conditioned seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. I got a radio. I have everything. The only thing I have out of it is just the rear and the passenger seat. So that's really it. Um, I saw the video. You were racing this Tesla. Drag mode. Drag mode, steering wheel, all that stuff. And yeah. I was driving this <laughs> the exact the same Tesla yep, yep. some hours uh, before, and I was shocked how fast it is. <laughs> and then I see this video, and then I see how fast yeah. this thing is. <laughs> Bis hierhin hast du schon geschaut. Ich hoffe, das Video macht dir Spaß und du kommst mit meinem sehr besonderen Englisch klar. Falls du jetzt eine kurze Pause machst, vergiss doch vorher nicht, einfach mal zu liken oder zu kommentieren. Oder wenn du eine längere Pause machen willst, gönn dir doch dieses tolle Cappy jetzt bei uns im Shop. Aber ähm, jetzt geht's weiter mit dem Video. How comes to this idea to build such a Trackhawk, not a Mustang? Sure, sure. Um, I suppose, at least initially, like I, I saw these when they first came out and I was like, man, I really, like, I really, really want one of those things. And it was, they came out in 2017 or so. I bought mine in 2020, December of 2020. Um, and I wanted to do just basic bolt-ons. There have been some guys out there that have been racing them and doing some stuff. Well, basic bolt-ons led to nitrous and nitrous led to a blown motor. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I got to build the motor now. And then I was like, well, I got a built motor. I should probably build the transmission and, and the drivetrain. And, and then I ended up with a Whipple and more nitrous and you know, here we are. <laughs> it kind of got out of hand. Snowball effect, you know? Yeah. Yep. Um, what for a blower is on it? Uh, so it's got a Whipple 5th Gen, which is a 3 liter blower. It's still just, as it comes from Whipple, it's not ported yet. We'll see. Um, and then as far as nitrous, I have a dual bottle setup, uh, but I'm only on a 150 shot. So that Tesla race was only on 150 shot, which the Demon up here is on a 400 shot. So. For nitrous, it's not that much, and I had it ramped in very, very slowly. So it's got a lot more room in it, a lot more power to be uh, had, and hopefully we can break that 889. So 
You have a real nice uh, Nitrous outlet controller you showed me yes, on this yes. day. Yep. Um, for the German people, most of them know only knows by pushing a button and mm. everything comes in. I need NAS. What does this controller do? So this controller pretty much does everything for you. It'll data log automatically. You can download the files and read everything. So that's for the tuner. On the tuning side, he can tell, rather than just flying blind on nitrous, he can tell everything about the pass that I just made. It also tells me the pressure, bottle pressure, the RPM. Um, what else does it tell me? I can change the maps, how the nitrous ramps in. Uh, so I have T1 through T5. I think I only have two of them set up. Um, but it's a pretty cool system. It's not as opposed to like I've had nitrous on a Mustang and I was just guessing and I'm like, okay, well, I think it's hitting. I think it's running. You know, this thing will tell me when it's at 100 percent and the nitrous is dumping. Uh, it, it's just a really cool setup to be able to tell. And that was something that Chris over here helped me with. Um, otherwise, I was just guessing. I'm like, I think it's in. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it's it's very cool. Okay, let's go back a little bit to uh, to you. Do you remember your first car? I do, yeah. It was a 03 Ford Taurus, man. It was a black. It looked like a whale, pretty much. It was heavy, too. It was about, I think they weigh somewhere, somebody probably correct me, it was like 4,000 pounds, over 4,000 pounds for just a regular old sedan. Yes. Yeah, that was my first one, man. <laughs> when does it start to build such a car and to race, of course? I think I got started, I, I had always had an interest. I liked Mustangs. I was like, oh, those are really cool cars. I bought a V6 and an automatic, and a bunch of my friends were like, oh, man, you got a V6 and it's an automatic? It just gave me a bunch of crap for it. So then I was like, all right, fine, screw you guys. I went back, and I bought a Mustang GT, and it was a stick. I taught myself how to drive, and then obviously race from there. I raced a... Uh, uh, like a 90s CR, uh, what is it, CRX, Honda yep. CRX with, uh, I think he had a K20 in it. Um, I got crushed, and then I was like, all right, I'm going to learn how to race. I'm going to make this thing faster, and, and I did. And um, I beat him sometime later. I wrecked that car, and then that kind of just started, started the addiction, I suppose. So a couple cars later, we ended up with this thing. <laughs> like I told you, a friend of mine will make the race 1000 in uh, Texas in October. Yes. yes. Um, I would like to invite you. That would be awesome, man. I would love to be there. I don't know if this thing will do. That'd be pretty fun. We'll see if the Jeep's got roll racing in her. So, yeah. I mean, I know I can do it on the street, but yeah, I think I, I, it can do pretty well for what it is. I would love to go. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, thank you very much. You were so nice. All best to you, and uh, I hope you see us in October. Thank you, absolutely, man. I'm stoked to see you guys again. Bye, bye. Ich hoffe, das Video hat euch sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Ähm, das war Tyler mit seinem Trackhawk, den haben wir in Amerika getroffen, als wir in Texas waren. Die Vlog seht ihr auch auf unserem Channel. Vielleicht ein bisschen ungewohnt, mich Englisch reden zu hören. Entschuldigung, das war kein Englisch reden, das war Englisch stümpern. Ja? Äh, aber äh, ich glaube, alle Infos haben wir bekommen, die wir gebraucht haben. Nächste Woche geht's weiter, da treffen wir Chris. My name is Chris Bailey and uh, we've got a 2018 Demon. Von Baileys High Performance. Er hat diesen Trackhawk gebaut und wir gucken uns seinen Demon an. Es ist nämlich der stärkste und schnellste Demon der Welt. Krasser Typ, krasses Auto, das alles seht ihr hier auf Race City und da kommen wir zum Punkt, ey Leute, abonnieren, liken, teilen, ihr wisst schon Bescheid, denn äh, passend zu diesem T-Shirt, was ihr übrigens in unserem Store kaufen könnt, wollen wir auf die World Tour und mit eurer Unterstützung wird es klappen und wir werden euch dann mitnehmen und ihr werdet alle Spaß haben. Dankeschön fürs Zugucken, ich bin Adam, der Kanal heißt Race City, vergiss das nicht. Denn ein Abo von uns schützt euch nachhaltig vor Elefantenpoppen. Ciao.